Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm just gonna pause this. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like eating a cookie. I just had like a lunch because it's it's currently 9:30 exactly. Just had something to eat, toast and milk. Anyways, I could seriously ramble about that for so long. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another current household. I actually made one of these. Um about a week ago I think um, of my supernatural family they are also my current household um, but this is also my other current household and this is just my ordinary family they are ordinary people sims they're ordinary sims they're ordinary family they live in an ordinary house they're just ordinary that's what I should that's what their last name should be ordinary so I still play with my sims 3 supernatural but I've been playing with but I've been playing with this family for quite a while so yeah um, if you cannot reneck, oh my god, I cannot say that, Rec if you cannot recognize this person right here, her name is Brittany, and if you watch my current household, like, way back, like, a uh, month ago or more of the Melvin family, this is Brittany, uh, you guys saw her when she was a teen, this is her pretend years later <laughs> as a young adult and I moved her out when she turned into a young adult and she graduated in Sunset Valley and I moved her out and I moved her to Bridgeport and she met a lovely man and they are engaged and they're gonna get married tomorrow like real life tomorrow so um yeah this is technically an update of Brittany it's technically an update of Brittany and the Melvin family, yeah. But it's called the Hillier family. Because <coughs> she's going to be married anyway, so. Um, yeah, they live in Bridgeport. Uh, this is their house. Um, they were actually living in an apartment building. When I first moved Brittany into Bridgeport, they were living in an apartment building by herself. And then after she met Andrew, which is her fiancé, um, right here, um, they moved... After they got together and they went out and they got engaged and everything, um, I moved them into this house right here. Sorry, that was my mom. And then we moved them into this house. I'm eating a cookie, by the way. Um, this was actually a house that was already in Bridgeport. I just did it all up, did some landscaping, redid the whole inside, um, added a bee thing that came with Supernatural, and I actually moved the house... Um, this house was originally placed, um, over here in Bridgeport. It was actually originally right in this very spot right here where my cursor is. And then we moved it, I moved it all the way over here into this cute little, um, into this cute little corner. This was actually a theme park. Not a theme park, but this was actually a park. And I, I got rid of that, I those those that I want to put in this big huge lamb, this little corner. And if you put down the house, you can actually see, you can, you can actually see the city in the background and the bridge and everything, which I like because, um, you're away from the city and the hustle and bustle and it feels like you're still like in this little cozy town like Appaloosa Plains or Sunset Valley or Riverview, but really you're in the city. So it's kind of like, uh... Uh, best of the both worlds or both you know what I'm trying to say so this is probably this probably wasn't the best time to make this oh help you listen to me this is probably not the best idea to make a current household at this very moment because both of them are at work but I had all this talking to do so I was like why not because I was telling you about everything and while they are at work I can show you around the house and then when they get back I will pick up and I will show you, like, tell you all about them and show you what they look like. Even though if you guys watch my, the Melvin family ho current household, you'll know what Brittany kind of look like, kind of looks like, because she didn't really change very much. She still looks the same, but yeah. So, um, let me just give you a tour of the house. I'm going to press, um, I'm going to press play because start work and everything and I want time to go by. Okay. So, obviously, like I said, they live in Bridgeport. Here's Bridgeport. Lovely Bridgeport. I can't wait to see it in seasons when there's like snow and everything. That's going to be amazing. So here's the front of the house. 
Um, oh. Um, I'm gonna show you the back of the house even though there's like nothing. Um. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even color in that. Hmm, gotta fix that. Okay, well here's the back of the house. I didn't color it in there either. <laughs> and right it here. I love this because you can like hear the water and everything. It's just like this little stage and there's um what do you call it? A telescope. So yeah. And then there's water, like a little pond like thingamajig, and the city's in the background. Thought it was really cute and the best spot to look for stars. Mm hmm So let's begin from the very front. Okay guys, so obviously they have this um, garage and they actually own a sloppy jalopy. Um, I think it's like a burgundy one. Here, I'll show you it. Um, yeah, it's like a burgundy, burgundy? <laughs> it's like a burgundy sloppy jalopy. Okay, um, so let's start in here. The kitchen in the living room is kind of combined. Um, I use some base game stuff, obviously use quite a bit of supernatural stuff because it's new um we harvest some honey already it's right there these are flowers andrew gave Brittany. um the living room this is andrew's birth certificate i actually don't have one for Brittany because like where she i moved her to a different town she didn't really graduate <laughs> so um she didn't really yeah, so Brittany didn't graduate, really. Here's the cute living room. And the door right here is from Supernatural. I think two of these are from Generations. Um, then there's a bathroom downstairs. And it's kind of like a blue shower slash tub. And then cute little um, sink area and stuff upstairs um it's kind of like a small house but there's you can see all this space i haven't used yet and haven't furnished because it's only them so like if they have a kid and stuff i'm planning on having like at least two kids so yeah here's like a little <coughs> bare space right here um yeah and then they have like this little door that leads to the front deck it has like a barbecue we have like yeah, some tiki lamps, um, and Brittany's on her way home, so yeah, that's good. And we have a little fire pit, it's cute, we can like come out here. And make sure I lock all them doors, even though that one doesn't really matter. So down this like, hallway, she made $101. By painting. This is like an extra room. Then there's this bathroom. It's purple and cute. Has a picture of Sunset Valley where she's from, so I just wanted to put it there. Then this is her this is their room. Very like nice, relaxing, but plain, which um I think is nice. Um. Oh, harvest honey. He doesn't get home till late. Well, he's coming home now. And then the little bedroom, and this is a picture of her when she was a teenager at her prom. So basically, that's it for the house. Um, it's nothing like big and fancy. It's just a little family home. Britain is minding her business when, practical joke, the crazy bear shoves her into the laundry cart and dumps her into the garden. That smells very, very bad. Oh, thank you, janitor. Thank you so much. So, yeah, this is Brittany. 
Um, on her way home, while she's on her way home, I'll just give you some things. She has her opportunity right now is to cook up two servings of cookies and deliver them to um, deliver them to the school for a class bake sale, I think. Um, to, and to earn a little pocket change, which is good. In her inventory, she has the queen's crown because she's a prom queen and some trophies she got from high school and a bunch of recipe books to get her cooking skill up <clears throat> and I'll always love having my sims having a cooking skill because it's very useful so this is all the people she knows not very many okay the first thing I'm gonna do with her oh I'm just gonna show you up close this is her work outfit because she's only an organ donor and it's not really a big job so Get a good picture of this. This is Brittany. And, and yeah, um, how about I show you her everyday wear? Just to show you what her fashion's like. <laughs> hmm. And she's exhausted, mm -hmm. so. He'll soon be home. So, this is, this is just what she's wearing. This actually came, both the skirt and the shirt came with, um, Supernatural. So yeah, that's Brittany. Um, I'm actually just gonna get her to come over, um, and grab a shower. Okay, so Brittany, um, <clears throat> Brittany Melvin is her name, and since I moved her into a different town, she doesn't have her family tree from Sunset Valley, but she, her mother and father was Sienna and Glenn, and she had a sister named Julia and a brother named Anthony, and her grandparents were Will and Martha, which were the parents of, um, Glenn, so, and then this is Brittany, and this is her fiancé. And she ages up in 19. Um, her scrapbook doesn't really... Oh yeah, here's a picture of her family. This is Glenn. This is her when she's a teenager, Julia and Sienna. And that was before Anthony was born. Um, I actually have a lot of memories. A picture when she went to prom. 